The village of Kirsfern sits high in the Galloway Hills on a flood plain of the River Duch. The name is Gaelic, meaning the curse of the Alders, with a curse being a home or low-lying piece of land by a river. The village takes its name from the parish, as the parish is the much older of the two. Now, before the parish of Kirsfern was constituted, the land, the village and its surround sits on was split between the parishes of Kells and Dalry. The reason that Kirsfern became a parish of its own? Well, it was more than 12 miles to either Dalry or Kells kirkyards, thus a long way to send a body in a coffin by cart, let alone for a funeral procession to walk. Considering that it is possibly the hilliest parish in the stewartry, you can imagine just how arduous that might actually be. What that meant, though, was that many of the dead from up here, high in the Galloway Hills, were being buried in the nearby fields instead. Now, according to Alexander Trotter's East Galloway sketches, on the hill above the abandoned village of Palmady at the southern end of what is now Kersphere Parish, there are some 70 or more cairns which mark the main graveyard people used before the parish was constituted. Others are dotted around the landscape too, including near the top of Dundee Hill. In 1645, a complaint was made about the fact that these burials were taking place and the parish of Kersfern was constituted shortly after. The constitution of the parish led to the building of the kirk and of course the kirkyard and an end to the indignity of field burials in Kersfern parish. If you're ever driving by Kersfern, it's worth dropping into the heritage centre here to learn more about this fascinating wee village. <laughs>